Yo, let's talk about the Ruvox, our new incarnate fist weapon. Let's go all the way from acquisition to nuking. And if you're looking for something specific, make sure to check the time steps. Starting with the acquisition is from Armadas, same as Dante and the Onos. You can drop it there or buy it from Lloyd for the resource that drops in the mission. And how does this weapon work? How does it handle itself? Against armor, it struggles a bit. And you might just think that this is a bad weapon and just stop right there or maybe try to build it for utility as you can. On turning in Karnan, loses attack speed, gains range, and the impact damage is converted into puncture. And it also, upon heavy slam, impales enemies. Which is freaking amazing to be able to kind of go void angel mode and impale everyone. The spike duration skills, which are combo counter. Now let's go over the incarnate perks. Here on Cavalero, first perk is always the incarnate form. Then we have the first line, which is movement speed on melee combo multiplier, attack speed on kill and range. This one, I don't like it. This one is good, and then it's Orc and Reach. I just prefer Orc and Reach. I find it easier to build the combo and everything like that. For the second line, we have initial combo slam radius, and for each enemy hit by slam radius, gain four combo counts, which is the same as the Fredos, if I'm not wrong. I just prefer to go with the slam radius, and increase the number of enemies I'm going to be hitting with my Heavy Slam. In just increasing the radius, I'm going to be impaling more enemies. That's how it goes. For this line is combo count chance on finishers. I don't like this one. I feel it's pretty unreliable. One mid-air jump. Why? And then to activate the incarnate earlier, which I think it's the best option because more range, hitting more enemies builds the combo counter faster. And then there is the last line, which is impaled enemies suffer five puncture status. Impaled enemies have 35% more vulnerability to status chance, which is amazing. And then 40% heavy attack efficiency for 20 seconds while impaling five or more enemies. My go-to is the this one. Status chance vulnerability. Yes, please. So how do we build it? If you build the regular way, be either viral or corrosive, you're gonna find this thing like lacking, the damage is not there, but there is a way to nuke. So this is what you saw me using back there and it wasn't dealing a lot of damage, only if we armor shipped enemies. Let's go over the nuking. This is what you need. This and melee influence. Summon the enemies. We build our combo. Okay. Heavy slam. Everyone eventually dies. That's how it goes. Easy as that. And to be honest, we don't even need the full 12 times. The main thing is to impale and get this electricity for us. You can have like as low combo as possible. But you need kind of kind of need some combo because of the duration to for them to stay there, and then uh, this thing is just crazy. We're getting the status chance vulnerability, more procs are applied, and everything like that. It, it, it is just crazy. And we don't even have a bane, no roar, no more stuff buffing. It's just this.
it eventually picks up and things just die pretty good if we add a bane not a bane it's might for the melee this we can take I have a Loki build with roar things get just get crazy let's go activate this thing again now with a bane picks up much faster holy everyone no only one left so do we even need it nope but it's gonna be a little bit harder maybe at least like four times so you get a like decent duration or just enough to be able to spread the, the electricity pretty good right what about roar oh. even though influence was not propped or it wore off. Well, it's gonna be a bit better now. Hmm. Pretty powerful. We could even add like a a slam mod. I don't know how much would how much better would it be? I'm not the the specialist on that. Let's use a figure swap. Oh, we didn't hit any everyone. Shame. What about we prime them? Almost. Do you need a Bane? Not really. Can even use the... The one that increases slam damage. You saw before, you don't even need Bane, you just... It's just crazy, this thing. Let's see if this is enough. It will eventually kill, but it's it's just better to build a combo. Okay, let's reactivate this. Kill everyone, summon them again. Then I just lost. Want to have this active? Everything really feels kind of close, so it's a bit hard to tell. Let's do it one more time. Then this time with Roar. Oops. Okay. Influence is going. Roar is going. Holy Jesus. We almost got everyone, but this, to be honest, this is looking really good. Much better than uh, what we started with. So yeah, that's kind of where I wanted to get to show you guys. Now I wanted to talk a bit about this weapon. I was just so mad at, like... The weapon is so freaking cool. I mean, getting the void spikes from the, the void angel is so cool. But I mean, so freaking cool. 
And this thing was dealing like no damage, but now it's nuking groups. So a grouping ability, a heavy slam, they're done. Just like that. That makes me much happier. The only thing I, I really want to complain about this is the is that we don't have the sound effect. Yeah, that sound effect. It, it's just so freaking cool. It's a shame we don't have it. But, yeah. I think, could this be the first the melee incarnate that has damage conversion? Because it's easy to find the other weapon types to just have their projectile or their main firing mode going from something like you know the IPS to puncture and heat or something like that but now a melee changing its damage I think that is unique uh, and not even I mean that's not, not adding another projectile or something like that like the ceramic dagger does but yeah changing from impact to puncture is good if you think this is bugged because you're getting impact procs your stance is doing that okay now, as for the Incarnan, I think this is the the lowest Incarnan duration of them all, 90 seconds, which is, it's a bit low, but it's okay, it just feels so cool, god damn it, yeah. Again, it's easy to think that this weapon is kind of trash or stuff, but it's actually pretty good. Let me know what you think about the Ruvox in the comments below. Leave it a like, subscribe, and peace.